Hello, wildlings. I'm your creep smith, and you found my fear forge. <laughs> Lucky you. Tonight's tale, Yate Veo. You won't see it until it's too late. Any forest you go into, any woodland you traverse, any park you walk in, hell, anywhere a tree grows, there's a chance that it will be there too. It blends in perfectly, matches whatever flora surrounds it. The environment doesn't matter. Whatever the sunlight and water levels are, that's irrelevant to this thing. Flesh and blood are the only things that it needs. Its leaves are just an illusion, like camouflage. Whenever it has its prey in the right spot, those leaves just vanish and it goes straight into full predator mode. It was born in the depths of Madagascar, they say. The natives thought of it like a god and routinely made sacrifices to it, something that the missionaries discovered to their shock and horror. It was the traveling of these missionaries that allowed the creature's spores to travel across the globe. By now, there are clusters of these creatures spread across every continent. So by now you might be asking, what is this thing? Well, it's a tree. A carnivorous, man-eating tree. Its branches are tentacles, wooden pythons that catch their prey. Its eyes and its maw are hidden within the bark, concealed from sight until it's too late for you to do anything. It's a patient monster. Likes to wait until you're nice and close, so close that you couldn't escape even if you became aware of what it was. Its tentacles will snatch you up like wooden pythons, wrapping around your body until you're entirely cocooned by the wood. It's not the suffocation that kills you, it's the crushing. The tendrils will constrict and bear down on your body, breaking every one of your bones in the most painfully slow way you can imagine. If you're lucky, you'll be caught by a grown one, since they can kill you faster like this. The younger ones, well, a crushing from them can take time. Now when it's done crushing the life from you, it eats. Its bark opens wide into a gaping maw of teeth like two rows of gleaming steak knives. Its tentacles tear you limb from limb, and then it gets to work, munching every limb and slurping every little droplet of blood that escapes your corpse. It's always hungry. It's always eager to feed. What's the name of this man-eating tree, you may ask? Well... There is the ancient term used by the Madagascans and the rough English translation of the name. They called it Ya Te Veo, or I See You. So stay scary, wildlings. Always remember the lesson of Evil Dead and never trust a tree. And make the most of your nights.